This question says that your company wants to track previous employment information for workers, including employer name, dates of employment, and job description. Which action should you perform? Let's take a look at the answer choices. So these are my answer choices. Answer choice A says, create a free form content type. So this question clearly tests your ability regarding profiles and content types and content item. So it talks about creating a free form content type without a content item. That's a very valid statement. And even if you look at the delivered previous employment information that that is designed in the exact same way. It's a free form content type, which means that it does not have content item. So free form content type cannot have content item. So it's a very important uh, point that you should know here. So this looks like a promising option. Let's make sure that we don't have any better answer choice. The next one, create a free form content type and create a new content item. That is incorrect statement. So we can eliminate answer choice B. C says create a new content type, but a seeded content item. That's also not possible. Okay, you cannot have that. When you create a new content type, you have to create the content items for that content type. So C is eliminated. Use a seeded content type and a new content item. Now, you should not modify the seeded content types. So this is not a good choice. And besides, there's no seeded content type for previous employment. The last one, create a new content type and content item. Now, technically, this is, this is a possibility. But when we are talking about previous employment and all these fields, you are most likely to have free text uh, fields where employees can enter those previous employment. It's not possible to store every organization, every company in the, in the job or the previous employment or employer name. So for that reason, we can eliminate E and hence A is my answer choice.